In this video I'm going to take you through all the main enhancements to AlphaCam in 2018 R1. On the Geometry tab under Special Geometries there's a new function called Minimum 3D Bounding Box. It's available in Standard, Advanced and Ultimate. When separating components for machining from a larger multi-body model you can end up with a complex part in a far from ideal orientation. The command works with solids, STLs and surfaces. It creates a mesh of points and calculates the most ideal boundary box. This mesh is what the tolerance setting refers to. The minimal boundary box that's created could be in any orientation, so we also have an option to auto-align it and the model flat along X and Y. Also with a shortcut to the relevant part of AlphaCam's configuration settings. The command will create an AutoZ geometry by default and we also have options to create a wireframe box from polylines and a material box. Select the part to be aligned and set the stock values for the bounding box. There's graphical feedback from the geometry preview as you enter values. When you're happy, press OK and the part's aligned. If you've turned on the Create Material option, you'll get the Material Settings dialog with all the usual options for Material Type, Texture and Associate for Auto Update. This new function is useful for irregular and complex shapes that previously were difficult to create efficient materials for and align in the best way. It also gives us a way to auto-align surface models and STLs that don't work with the usual solid alignment tools. For example, this panel from a CAD package that can only create mesh models. There's a new checkbox called Ignore Existing Work Planes on the Input CAD dialog. When importing CAD models, the import may require creating geometries on work planes. The geometries will be placed on already existing work planes if they match with what already exists in the drawing. However, this may not be the desired result. So with the new option turned on, all existing planes will remain the same and new ones will be created for the newly imported geometries. You can see that with it turned off, the geometry is imported relative to the existing work plane. And with it turned on and importing the same geometry again, it's imported relative to flatland on its own work plane. The fillet command has been added to with a new reverse fillet option. It does exactly as the regular fillet but reverses the arc. It can be used with the individual two element selection method. Or the more automatic all is set by ghost tool method. When the ghost tool is set to inside, it fillets the internal corners. And when the ghost tool is set to outside, it fillets the outer corners. If the ghost tool is set to center, it will fillet all corners. A negative ramp angle is now allowed in 2D leads. It's preferable in some situations, for example on a pod and rail machine when a part is chamfered on the underside and it's better to approach with the side of the tool. The range of ramp angle allowed now is between minus 90 and 90, but not zero. The 
the height of the ramp remains as before. It's the difference between the rapid down to level and the cut in level. When a negative ramp angle is specified, the height is calculated as if the ramp angle was positive, but the top of the ramp will be at the cutting level and the bottom of the ramp height below this. There's a warning message if negative ramp angles are used to ensure they're not used by mistake. There's a new field in queries for testing how many times a geometry intersects with another geometry. It's useful when there's nothing else unique to test against, as with these three rectangles. It gives us an easy way to separate certain types of geometries onto different user layers ready for toolpath application and processing. Nesting has an important new feature called Best Sheet Utilisation. Instead of using sheets up in the order they were picked, it will find the best way to use sheets available. I'm going to run two nest lists that are identical, apart from one's using the picked order method, and the other is using the new Best Utilisation method. There's a lower percentage of scrap produced and less sheet material is used. In 3D machining, the cylindrical parallel strategy has been improved so that the user has easier control over the start and end angles and the clockwise or counterclockwise direction. The start angle can now be less or greater than the end angle. And the clockwise checkbox is now dynamic and updates the on-screen cutting area preview giving the user exact feedback on the area to be cut and the tool start position before starting the toolpath processing. Twenty eighteen R one sees the return of the popular add in time study that's valued as a lightweight alternative to reports and good for quick on the fly checking of machining times. Select your working units. Rapid rate is taken from the selected post and can be changed if needed. And then there's tool change time, part load and unload time, and efficiency rate, which is often reduced for complex tool paths with a lot of changes of direction that might prevent the machine reaching the programmed feed speed. It gives machining times instantly for even the largest of programs. And the ability to scroll through with graphical feedback, checking the times of individual operations.
A text summary can be produced showing the total only or a more complex breakdown of operations. In the Stone module, there's improved discard visualization support. We get a preview when selecting a tool from the library. When creating toolpaths, in simulation, and when scrolling through the toolpath elements in the Layers Manager. Another nice enhancement to the Stone module is an Include Extra Passes at Wall option in the Cut with Disk Roughing strategy. This ensures that there's no excessive stock left on the walls of the profile left for finishing. The roughing toolpath divides the profile up into equal sections according to what step over is set. These toolpaths are unlikely to fall in the same place as the flat walls on this model. If I use the center simulator function and use its stock comparison, we can see that there's excessive stock. When I turn this new option on, you can see there's extra toolpaths added at the walls, removing the excessive material. And viewing the stock comparison again, the material at the walls has gone. And again in stone, there's a new maximum link distance setting added to the finishing and side finishing strategies of cut surface or solids with disc. The new setting means the user can control the maximum link distance between passes. This is only active if the tool path is bidirectional and the join paths with arcs is selected. If the distance between the end of the pass and the start of the next pass exceeds the user setting, the disk will return to rapid level to approach the next pass. And over to lathe. When defining a tool with advanced tooling graphics, we've added a new checkbox called Include in Clash Detection Checks. It allows you to cycle through each of the solids in turn, deciding if you want to include it in the checks. I'm not going to include the tip in checks because it's clearly meant to make contact with the material. And in simulation configuration settings, you need to turn on the option stop when clash detected. The simulation stops and you're notified of a clash. And finally, an overview of some of the other smaller but very relevant improvements. In Lathe, all the machining dialogues have now been converted to the new, more user-friendly dialogues with pictures and tooltips. 
In all modules, the default color for the second operations is now orange instead of red. This makes it easier to distinguish between red clashes in simulation and between polylines that are also red. In tool direction settings, there is an option to save and load presets and save and load a default. In the tool library, tool notes and TPD values are displayed. Some tools need these to pass information to the post. And in our robot integration, the number of fixtures and robots you can save in a project is now unlimited.